What's going on, everybody? It's me, it's your boy, JC, and I am back here with more WWE Panini cards. Today is the first day of WrestleMania, my favorite time of the year. As you guys know, as an independent commentator, I love wrestling. I love being a part of it. And this is like a holiday to me. So I figured what better way to celebrate WrestleMania weekend than to have a triple threat blaster box battle. And we have kind of like a, two of the same product, but also one different product, all under the same Panini banner. We have the 2023 Panini Prism Blaster going up against the Don Russ Elite Blaster and the 2022 Debut Edition Blaster for WWE. Now, with that being said, I found this Prism Blaster at my local GameStop for 30 bucks. This one was 30 at my local card store. And believe it or not, this one was 40 bucks for some reason at my local card store. But uh, nonetheless, we found them, and I thought, what better way to celebrate WrestleMania with this insane triple threat battle? What do we want to open first, guys? Do you want to open... Let's open the older product first. We're going to go with the 2022 Panini Prism Debut Edition box. Guys, I am so excited for WrestleMania. I mean, The Rock's a part of it. I get it. He's he's an older guy, but I, I mean, he's it looks like he's in great shape. I think he's going to go all the way. And uh, I am recording this on the uh, first day of WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania hasn't happened yet. It's, it's, it's only 1.07 in the morning. I couldn't... Uh, Missed the Hall of Fame special. I, Paul Heyman's speech was amazing. If you guys watched it, uh, what did you think? I I loved Paul Heyman's ECW mentions. I love that he's a Paul Levesque guy. Shout out to Triple H. Uh, WWE is just uh, what people are calling the Renaissance era now. Uh, it seems like it's getting cooler. So, very exciting. Without further ado, let's get into our first pack. All right, so a little bit of a older feel, even though it is last year's product. We got Shayna Baszler, who just had a match at Bloodsport for GCW, I believe. It's insane that WWE is letting their superstars go to... Hey, we got a Solo Sokoa rookie card. Go to uh, indie shows. That's awesome, as I was saying. Not a bad card. I might sleeve that. I mean, Solo rookie is sick. And moving on, we got Cesaro, no longer with the company. And we have a Prismatic Entrances, Kofi Kingston. Look at that 8-bit uh, Titantron in the background. Very cool. On the pack number two. By the way, uh, in this Blaster Box Triple Threat Battle, you guys are going to decide what box had the best hits, better cards. We have Liv Morgan, Jersey Girl. We have Von Wagner on rookie card. Uh, I'm not too familiar with NXT, as you know, but I've heard his name before. We have Ivy Niles rookie card. That's nice. We have a true silver Ivy Niles rookie card. I was confused. I thought we got a double of a base, but that's real nice. Love to see it. Ivy Niles may be a, you know, a good rookie card to have. I mean, sure, she's just in the... Uh, infancy stages of her main roster uh, run, but you never know. I, I messed up on the uh, rip here, guys, so bear with me. Oh, there we go. Took a little bit of extra force. Careful with those corners. Throw the garbage to the side. We have Tommaso Ciampa. We have a Joaquin Wild of the LWO. Oh, there's a legend, Brett the Hitman Hart. One of my favorite legends of all time, second only to Macho Man Randy Savage. And on a fearless insert, we have Seth freaking Rollins. Very nice. He's going to have a quite the weekend ahead of him in a tag match against Roman and The Rock with Cody. And night two against Drew McIntyre. What do you guys think about that match? Who do you think is going to win? I, I got McIntyre. I honestly think... Seth's getting a little stale. Uh, you know, maybe he's going to turn heel. Maybe he's not. 
But uh, McIntyre's just doing some of the best work of his career. Loving the heel McIntyre run. We have Guru Raj, rookie from NXT. Again, not too familiar with that name. But cool, nonetheless. We have Kofi Kingston again. We have Dexter Loomis. What happened to Dexter Loomis? I haven't seen him on TV much lately. And we have a next level insert of The Miz. Really actually liking the inserts. They're not terrible looking. They're pretty cool. All right. We have two more packs to go. What other exciting things await us in 2022's Panini Prism debut edition? We have Ivar from the Viking Raiders. We have Casey Catanzaro. I believe her name is now Katana Chance, former women's tag team champion. We have Nash Carter. Uh, yeah, no longer in WWE for a pretty good reason. And another prismatic entrance, and that's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura. Guy has a pretty iconic entrance, even with his heel thing. I think the whole uh, heel track that he comes out to is sick. Even though I think it's just his face entrance, but he plays a bad guy now for it. You guys know what I mean. Last pack of this first blaster. We have Riddle, again, no longer with the company. For good reason, too, unfortunately. But we have Eddie Guerrero doing the frog splash. Nice shot there. Really nice. We have somebody you don't hear about too much anymore. Tamina. I believe she's the uh, daughter of Jimmy Superflash. Okay, it looks like we have a green prism. That is going to be Mace, formerly known as Mace. No longer with the company. But it's still cool to get his card. I like the green. Really nice uh, color to it. All right, so that does it for our first blaster. We will move on to the Don Russ Elite Blaster. All right. Cut this bad boy open. As you guys know, I am a huge Rey Mysterio fan, and he has quite the tag match coming up for night one of WrestleMania. It'll be him and Dragon Lee going up against his son, Dominic Mysterio, and Santos Escobar. That's going to be high-flying. I can't wait to see it. So, any Rey Mysterio match is just a good match to me. That's how much of a mark I am for Rey Mysterio. So, all right, let's get into our first pack here. Oh no, rough rip on the Don Russ Elite. Gotta get in those creases there, there we go. Alright, kicking things off for the Don Russ Elite Blaster. We got Riddick Moss. On the green, we got Bailey on blue for SmackDown. We got Alexa Bliss on the red for Raw and a Chad Gable. Ooh, I still think should be in the Intercontinental Championship fight. And not Sammy, but I get it. Sammy is a fan favorite. As I move more garbage to the side here. Let's get into the second pack. I'm just going to keep attacking those creases because I uh, can't really rip these the old-fashioned way. Ooh, look at that. That's a fancy one. This is Tidal Waves? What a nice looking card. That is Becky Lynch on the Tidal Waves. And she's got a match coming up with Rhea Ripley, a.k.a. Mommy. That's going to be a great match, I think. Uh, let's see, is this numbered? No, it's just... Wow, it, looks like, it just looks like the card and it feels like it as well. That's, you know, it's the card that would be numbered... But nonetheless, really nice. I'm going to leave that to the side as a possible hit. We have Maxine Dupree, rookie. We have Nakamura. And from NXT, we have Joe Gacy. I actually used to watch him as a fan on the independent scene. I think I caught him in, uh, what was it? I think it was CZW. So, 
Very cool. Moving on. And look at that. We, this must be the box of the man, Becky Lynch, because we have a star status card of hers. Another fine looking card. And again, it's not numbered, which really is surprising. These are pretty nice cards. Leave that to the side. Possibly another hit for that box. Ilja Dragunov. This guy's hard hitting. He's fun to watch. Uh, love to see him. Oh man, Top Dollar. Um, what can you say about Top Dollar? I mean, he's a uh, he was fun. I think he was on that uh, that show. What was it? Hidden Treasures or something like that. When he was looking for all the memorabilia with the legends. But hey, man, shout out to Top Dollar. Working on the independent scene now. And I got a friend who uh, has been calling him out. I wonder if they'll ever meet in the ring. That's the Cardinal Nick Thompson. Nick Thompson, if you don't know him, definitely follow him on YouTube. He has his own channel, uh, Nick Thompson, and at Real Nick Thompson on Instagram. Really fun talent and a good friend of mine. And we have main event Jey Uso to finish us off in that pack. We got three more packs to go. Halfway point of the Don Russ Elite Blaster. All right, we got a nice Bianca Belair. Has a tag match coming up at WrestleMania. Looking forward to that. All right, put that to the side here with the SmackDown Stars. We have LA Knight, yeah. We have Dijak from NXT. Oh man, I miss his old school uh, feast your eyes gimmick. It was a. Uh... Oh, there's the boy, Rey Mysterio. Now that folks is a PC hit. I'm gonna put that to the side here. That's just a uh, one of the others we'll include in our little recap. Two more packs to go. Also, that's a Rey Mysterio and an LWO shirt, so that, that just, that's awesome. And we got a rookie numbered card. This is going to be Tatum Paxley on the blue and gold status, and it's numbered 37 out of 275. All right, a lot of female superstar hits in this blaster. We got Rhea Ripley, who we were just talking about earlier. And another rookie, and this is going to be B-Fab. Very cool. And the other Uso brother. It's going to be so much fun seeing Jimmy and Jay Uso fight it out one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania tomorrow. Or today, as I said, it is 1.20 in the morning at the time of this recording. Because I am a madman. One more pack to go in the Don Russ Elite Blaster. Oh, man. The guy that I do not like. <laughs> John Cena. I, I know some people consider him the GOAT, but he's just not that guy for me, man. But I will put him in the hits. So uh, we got Butch, now going by Pete Dunnigan, I believe, and his tag partner, Tyler Bate. And we have Bronson Reed to finish us off in the Don Russ Elite Blaster. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. We have one more blaster to go. If you guys are still with me, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Guys, we are so close to 100 subscribers. That's, that'll just make my day so much better. And uh, the more we have subscribers, the bigger products we're going to get. I can assure you of that. So will we get to 100? Only you guys can help me out with that. So please hit that subscribe button. It is free. Now moving on to the 2023 Prism Blaster. cards to the side here so we have a little better view of our cards three and three and let's get it and 
him, they just spilled out. And I can see we I can see we already have a legend, Typhoon, aka the Shockmaster. King of the botch. <laughs> and we have an Xavier Woods on the ice. Legends of the Hall, Kurt Angle, one of my favorites growing up. Very nice card. And we have Liv Morgan to end pack one. All right. On to pack two. We have Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. What do you guys think of their gimmick? I, I, they're cool. I mean, they're fun in ring. We have Humberto doing a moonsault to Big E on the outside. Very nice. And on the silver, we have Wesley. Him I actually am familiar with because he used to be a part of the Rascals, and I used to like that group. So, very cool on the true silver. And we have Ashante Adonis. All right. All right. And as I get into this third pack, this puts us at the halfway point of the 2023 Prism Blaster. Come on, come on. There we go. We have Rip Fowler. Don't know him. Sorry about that. And on the ice, we have the guy who looks to finish his story. That's the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. If there's anybody you want on ice right now, it's Cody. So very cool. And on the green prism, we have Mako Sadomura, former UK women's champion. Hope they, hope they open up that uh, soon because... Uh, yeah, haven't uh, heard much on an update regarding that. And we have another Joe Gacy. All right, very cool. All right. Three more packs to go. Come on, we almost got it. We almost got it. There we go. We have Jinder Mahal, Cruz del Toro, and on another green, we have Alba Fire. Very cool. And we found ourselves another Ilja Dragunov. Two more packs to go in the 2023 Prism Blaster. We have Otis of the Alpha Academy. Johnny Gargano on the ice. And we have a top tier insert, green and red. That's going to be Asuka. Very nice. And there's the guy with one of the longest reigns. In modern day professional wrestling, that is Roman Reigns, the head of the table. One more pack to go. Let's see, will we find anything exciting? We have Thea Hale on the rookie, we have Apollo Crews. And another top tier, we have Dolph Ziggler, going by Nick Nemeth now. I believe he's in TNA. And finally, we have Edris Enofe. If I didn't say that right, I apologize. But um, there wasn't much going on in that 2023 Prism Blaster. Let's get our cards together and let's recap what we found. All right, for the fun inserts that we found in our 2022 Prism Blaster, we have Prismatic Entrances, Sinsuke Nakamura. 
Next level, The Miz, a fearless Seth Rollins, and a prismatic entrances, Kofi Kingston. And our rookie, True Silver, also found in that 2022 blaster, is Ivy Nile. All right. And for the Don Russ Elite box, we found a spellbound John Cena. A numbered status blue of Tatum, Tatum Paxley. Number 37 of 275, and it's her rookie card. We have a PC hit of mine, Rey Mysterio. And on the star status, we have Becky Lynch. And we have her again in the Tidal Waves, which is just a very nice looking card. And our hits in the 2023 Prism Blaster. We'll show you this fun insert, Legends of the Hall, Kurt Angle. We have a bunch of nice ice cards of Johnny Gargano. I think the biggest hit in the 2023 Prison Blaster, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, Xavier Woods, and that's it. So what do you guys think? Who won this triple threat blaster box battle? If you ask me... I'm probably going to go with the Don Russell Elite. Uh, like I said, a lot of fun finds. This was a fun rip, though, overall. And I hope you enjoyed this triple threat battle. If you are going to watch WrestleMania this weekend, enjoy. Eat the snacks. Have fun with your friends. Have a couple of cold ones. Speaking of cold ones, Stone Cold? Possibly a rumor to come and help out Cody against the Bloodline? We'll see. But enjoy WrestleMania, guys. For now... JC out.